Okay, so um, what we will be making today is a rose pencil with a stem, which is a pencil covered by green clay uh, for, the, for its stem. And this is, you know, because the progress, the process takes a while to dry. So I'll be making um, some pre-made um, uh, stem for you guys already. But I want to show you guys how I um, make my stem. Uh, so basically, you roll out a piece of light green clay, you kind of flatten it across. You know, roll it out into like a, a, a long uh, rope. And then you put your um, uh, roller across it, gently press it down to make it thin. Okay. Afterward, you get a pencil about the size you put it put the at the top on here okay and you cover it with clay okay. and then you kind of roll it on the on the table If you find that your clay is um, drying up and it's not sticking onto the pencil, simply take the clay apart and add some water onto the clay and kneel it. Okay. As you roll, you can see that the clay will move. Either it will move, um, there will be some leftover on the end, and then you know if your clay didn't go, didn't cover the. Um, you know the top part of the pencil that's okay um, because you have to um, when you sharpen your pencil you have to take the clay off too so you can try your best to move the clay by pressing it hard try to move the clay onto the top of the pencil yeah well, this is what I'm doing you, you apply a little bit of pressure and then you kind of move the clay over move the clay over over and do a cover. Um, you know, it takes a while, but you know, you can see you know, this is how it looks like. And then what you do is like you take the top part off. You know, excess clay, you put it away. Uh, make sure that you um, to to note. You know, this is a uh, something you want to keep in mind that you don't want um, your clay to dry out. So whatever excess clay that you're not using, put it in a plastic bag or serene wrap and then on top of it you know put a wet towel over so I think you can you can reuse it when you want to so so far I make like I make about um, five I think we only have five students today so we're gonna have five stem ready and the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of um, red clay Depending, you know, you guys choose. I will have different colored clay. We're going to make different colors of roses. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate to, to you how I make the bud, the bud of um, the rose. And then what we're going to do in class is that we're going to um, roll out the clay, flatten it into petals, and uh, we're going to attach it onto the pencil. Okay? So um, we're going to use this clay, this is my demo, and what we do is that we take the chunk out here, and you roll it into a ball shape, and then you press it on the, the, the table here, and then you kind of, um, you only, you make a point, you make a teardrop shape like this, and then you know, make a point at the end of it pointy you don't have to do it with your hand you know you, uh, you, you don't have to you can do it between your palm but I'm holding my phone taking um, video so uh, I won't be able to show it to you how I put it on my palm you know you, you basically you are just uh, rolling uh, an end of the clay you know make it into a ball and then you roll it into the clay okay and then I'm gonna attach it onto one of the pencil right now so as you can see, I am uh, attaching the teardrop onto the 
top off the pencil. Uh, since I'm a one person, one handed right now, um, I'm just showing you how I push it down. Don't push it all the way down. Push it down until you know the end of the the teardrop is uh, in, inserted with you know the stem is inserted to the bottom of the um, teardrop. You want to do you probably want it like uh, half an inch uh, for you know for the stem to go in half an inch only. Okay, don't do it too much. If you do it too much, the stem's gonna come out on the top. On the point, and uh, you 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 know, basically you have to take it apart and do it again. So always keep in mind that when no matter when you are drawing or uh, making you know clay project, always um, try not to use heavy pressure on anything. Uh, you apply the pressure as uh, you know as needed. I would say, yeah. So this is the stem and the bud of the rose, and then. Later in class today, we are going to do the petal. Uh, there will be about 12 petals for this project, and I will set the clay, I will mix, pre mix color uh, aside, and then you guys get to choose what color. But I, I'm only going to make five different colors, and then you guys will have to choose, okay?